Yo, your speed and power, that right hand was phenomenal. Talk to us about that technique and where you generate that power. Um, I don't really know, to be honest. I just, <laughs> I just let my punches go. And um, I've been boxing since I was 10 or 11 years of age. So I think it, it is that, that, that just comes very naturally to me. And I'm very lucky to have a great team of people around me as well, a great coach. And um, he's definitely getting the best out of me. Because you definitely hit harder than a lot of other men that I've seen. I'm being serious. <laughs> <laughs> that right hand was impressive. Now, what are you looking to uh, accomplish in the lightweight division, and how difficult is it to bring boxing to the you know the front you know to women's boxing? How difficult is that? Yeah, I think it, um, people are definitely a lot more open-minded to it nowadays, and I would lo love to change people's uh, perspectives on, on women's boxing. And um, having an opportunity to box in these shows is such a great platform for that. Um, I love to bring women's boxing to to the next level. I think it can be done. You see it in the UFC, the likes of Ronda Rousey and Holly Holm mm -hmm. making, making a huge name. So I think it can be done in, in the boxing world as well. Are you on the fast track to getting a world title shot? Yeah, I definitely feel ready for a world title. Um, but I'm just kind of taking take my time and, and, and learn as, as I go along as well. And, but I definitely feel ready and um, I'm ready and willing to fight anyone really. You know, being at 5-0 and with three knockouts, you are already celebrated in the UK. You're, you've been embraced, you're loved. Are you looking to receive the same uh, love out here in the States of New York? Yeah, I'd love to actually. Um, you know, that, that's why I'm out here boxing. It's, it's great to make a Macau debut in such a big show and I'd love to, to create a, a big fan base out here as well as at home in, the, in, in Ireland and the UK as well. And what do we know about our opponent for this Saturday? Um, I don't actually know too much of myself. The, the opponent was actually only confirmed the last couple of days. We were kind of scrambling for opponents these last few weeks and um, she is a tough girl and she is obviously to be respected and she's been in with, uh, with a lot of top, top fighters so um, I'm definitely going to go in um, you know, fully focused and Hope you um, perform very well Saturday evening. Uh, come August 26, will you be su uh, supporting Conor McGregor versus Floyd Mayweather? Yeah, I, can, I can actually can't wait uh, <laughs> for the fight. And the press conferences themselves were, were very entertaining. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I think it's a fight that everyone is, is going to watch. And um, the whole of Ireland is behind Conor McGregor, and we're very excited for him. Thank you. Yeah. You got a chance to bump into him at, at dinner. What did you guys? What did he tell you? Connor? Yeah. Um, he's actually uh, such a lovely person, very down to earth, and he's like that with everyone we meet. Um, I don't know. I can't really remember the conversation. It's an absolute pleasure to meet him. He's, he's an icon, obviously, at home in Ireland, and uh, the biggest sport that we have. And he's obviously one of them. He's really good. I'll have I'll, I'll, Is he Ireland? Yeah, he's Ireland. Yeah, he's Ireland. I mean, obviously, you, you you know how difficult it is to master the sweet science. Yeah. So, is is this something where you're just kind of like, wow? I mean, supporting Connor, but yeah. this is a tough one. It is a very very tough one. I mean, five man is obviously the best boxer ever to know for a generation. Really, he's been in with the top boxers and the field and all. So, it is a very very tough task for Connor, but you know, fair play to both men for making a lot of money from it, and um, it's a win-win situation for Connor Brown.